Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you how I de-squeeze this anamorphic footage in DaVinci 18.6 Studio. It is really simple and I guarantee you that you're not going to lose the quality of your image as well, even if it's 8K or even um, much larger files. As you can see, the image plays very smoothly. There is no lagging or anything of sort. And by the way, you can use a free version of DaVinci. You don't have to use the 18.6 Studio. I just have the Studio version. Okay, let's jump into the tutorial. So we've just started a new project and we have imported a clip to our timeline for demonstration purposes. And this footage was shot on the Surrey Satin anamorphic lens, 35 millimeters with a 1.6 times squeeze factor. And as demonstrated in this footage right now, you can see that the image is a little bit distorted. You have the black bars on both right and left width, and you don't want to be seeing this because the image is right now not proportional. And the whole idea of anamorphic lens is that it captures a full view of the image, squeezes it, so that when it comes to processing like what we're about to do right now, we can stretch it out and we can gain a much dynamic view, a much wider view. To do this, we're going to go into the media pool. We're going to right click, go all the way down to clip attributes. Once you're in clip attributes under the video tab, go into the pixel aspect ratio, select custom, and you're going to put one times six. You click on OK. And immediately you see that your image has been squeezed. It is now looking normal. You haven't lost any of the parts in the footage that is important to you. All you've done is gained a much wider width, a much more dynamic view. Okay, so the next part is to do with our resolution. Right now, we are in Apple Pro Res 422, so the clip won't shot. The clip will have a smooth playback. However, when it comes to making complex notes during coloring, you know, when it comes to the secondary grading and adding a bit of a film look and maybe even going into fusion at some point to add effects, you notice that we have some issue with the footage playback because it will be processing a lot of information or data and unfortunately it will be compromised. So to prevent this from happening, go into project settings. And what we're going to do in the project settings is we're going to ensure that this is set to 1920 by 1080. Also enable background caching after one second and that the optimized media and render cache and we're just going to save it. What is currently missing right now is a proxy. One of the biggest challenges of using DaVinci's standalone proxy generator is that it unfortunately doesn't link the proxy to your footage in an anamorphic format, which means that when a footage is in anamorphic format and you try to use a proxy generator that is a standalone, although the proxy generator will generate and it will show on DaVinci, in the clips, it will not unfortunately de-squeeze that footage. So we're going to use the internal proxy generator. And I, please, I implore DaVinci to try and resolve this issue because some clips are long and have larger file sizes with larger resolutions. And you don't want to be watching a paint dry by seeing this load all the time as well. To resolve this issue right now, because we have a very short clip we are going to go into the media pool. In the same footage, you right click and you're going to select generate proxy media. And I don't want you to watch this paint dry right now, see this load. So I'm just going to pause this and wait for it to completely load. Okay, so the proxy has completely generated. You can tell when you go into the timeline, you see this icon right next to the footage. You can also see that in the media pool. So if you look at the footage, you have PXY icon right next to the footage. So that's practically it. Now, one thing I would like to highlight is that most people tend to go into playback 
and set the timeline proxy resolution to half. What basically happens is that by setting that to half, you lose the quality of your image in the timeline. Whilst we have the 1920 by 1080, you've literally halved that footage quality and you don't want to be doing that. Okay, so that's it. Make sure that you follow these instructions and you'll be fine.